mean, that's why it's, it's important for a lot of brothers who have jobs, man. Read your manual, man. Read that manual that they give you when you first enter into the job. And you stick by that regardless because there's certain Edomites when they get a job, they follow by that rule book. Okay? And that's why these uh the, the managers and stuff like that, they can't they can't approach anybody like that. Because they're afraid of losing their job. You have to use wisdom, man, when you're when you're uh, uh in Esau's kingdom. You know what I mean? You know, go ahead, huh? <clears throat> This is the book of Psalms, chapter 44, and verse 14. Is, it says, Thou makest, thou makest us a, a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. You know, so we're, we're, we're a reproach right now for this time. You know, but it's, it's going to be a, a role reversal, man. You know, you other nations, you're going to be a reproach. You're going to have that, that, that reproach upon you. All right? Verse 15, it says, my confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my faith of my face have covered me. For the voice of him that reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and avenger. You know, so hey, we got the, we got this um the, um we got uh, shame in America, man. Because we're we're a proverb among among the base men, you know. These so-called white people we're we're, we're proverbs among them. You know what I mean? This is a, uh, let me just bring this, this, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna be the complete opposite because we soon gonna be saying this. This is Isaiah uh, 14, verse 16. It says, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of, of his prisoners, this is what this is what we're gonna be saying to Esau when we see him in the kingdom. He gonna be small in the kingdom. All the other nations are gonna beat up on Esau in the kingdom. They all gonna be slaves, but he gonna be the worst of the slaves. He gonna be the base of the slaves. Okay, so we gonna narrowly look upon him like, damn, this the man right here who did shake kingdoms, right? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Who didn't open up the prison houses? Him? That face this man. guy. You know what I'm saying? We saying that right now. You know what I'm saying? And he still has power. And we saying that right now because through faith, through the word of Yahweh Shem El Shai, man, we know, man, man, it's no question, man, that we're going to receive the kingdom. You know, Lord willing, we're a part of that number. The elect, we're a part of that number. But, you know, even if we're, you know, if we're not the elect, you know, we understand, man, these things are going to come to pass in the kingdom. And now we're going to be saying that in the kingdom. You know what I mean? So through faith, we're able to say that right now. You know what I mean? We ain't got to see it. We have faith. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 41 and verse 5. It says, The children of sinners are abominable, are abominable children, and they that are conversant, conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly. Verse 6, the, the inheritance of sinners, children shall perish, and their and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. The children will complain of an ungodly father because they because they shall be reproached for his sake. You know, so that's, that's going back to that lady, man. You know, you know. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm gonna read verse six again. It says, "The inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, and their posterity shall be shall have a perpetual reproach." Man. Posterity means the the uh, end. Right. You know what I'm saying? Future events. The end. So they're going to always be complaining like, damn, man. Yep. They're going to be complaining of, of their fathers, man. Come on. The, the, the inheritance, it says, the inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, man. We didn't do that. We didn't. That's not us. That wasn't my forefathers, but you are your forefathers in return. That's right. That links, okay. That links right up with Isaiah 14 to 21, man. Come on. The That's scripture right. says there is no end to a people. That's right. So you are your foreparents. Okay. That was you. Yeah, that was you who did all that evil and that wickedness. That was you. Okay? Like the scriptures say in verse 7, it says, The children will complain of an ungodly father Come. because they shall be reproached for, for his sake, man. Come. Esau, man. <laughs> They're going to be complaining of Esau, man, selling his soul for, for a raw piece of meat, man. Bro, come on, bro. <laughs> you know? And, and, and these Edomites, these so-called white people, they, they still eat that raw meat today. today. That's right. Symbolizing that 
they didn't eat them like, right. <laughs> That's why when I order like uh, roast beef from them, oh, and, and I'm no, it's no surprise when I get home, because you know it's wrapped up in foil and stuff like that, right? It's no surprise when I get home and I open it up, it's all bloody. I'm like, damn, man. I gotta take the meat out, put it in the microwave, nah. go put it in the oven and cook it some more. Because it's bloody and I gotta find new bread, put the meat in the bread, and now I felt like I wasted my money. I even seen it, I seen it online. It was just um, eating my lady. She was eating. She was eating raw meat, like literally raw meat, man. You know that's how base. That's how base. Um, these Edomites are. All right, come. You know what I'm saying? Even um, Moab, Ammon and Moab, with sushi and stuff like that, they eat their fish raw. What they what they do to it? They add lime, they add salt, and they say and they roll it in, roll it in rice and stuff like that, and tell you to eat it. That shit got a lot of parasites. It's got a lot of parasites in it, man. Bacteria. They say the lime is supposed to kill the bacteria, but you're still not supposed to eat the thing raw like that, man. You know what I mean? Huh. So Moab, right? He right there, right along with Esau, man. Killing dogs, man. Killing dogs, I all kinds of stuff. They, they was unloading uh, dogs that, that was dead off off a truck and putting them in a, in a, in a, in a, um, in a cart Come. and driving it back back in the back of the store, selling it. You see that? Come. <laughs> That's yeah. why that's why I don't eat Moabite food anymore, man. Cause mm. I noticed one thing about Moab. They don't eat the food that we that exactly, they sell on us. Exactly. You'll never see them sitting there eating that yeah. stuff. If they do, they're eating rice and vegetables. Right. But that, yeah. that meat, they're not eating that all their own meat. Yeah. Man, bro, I no way, bro. They usually got they usually got a bowl of soup. Right. <laughs> or a soup or something. They're not yeah. gonna eat no 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 general tile chicken. You know what I'm saying? They dare not to, bro. Cause they know. And then that stuff is packed with MSG. Mono sodium glutamate, man, that stuff is hella bad for you. The stuff that makes the food shiny and stuff like that, that stuff is not good for you, man. Mm. That stuff kills you, and they know that. That's why they don't want that shit. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it looks like it, but then when they're in the back and it's in that bag, it probably say like X X X on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like poison. But they, they 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 looking at you eating it like damn, these niggas living. You know what I'm saying? But the scripture did say that. The scripture said we was gonna eat our food, our bread defiled amongst the heat. Uh. And live. Okay? I'm pretty sure all these scientists are surprised that we're living, man, and we're still reproducing. Uh. That's why they at, at, at this point, man, they gotta, they gotta, you know, they gotta just go ahead and do what they gotta do, man. You know what I'm saying? They gotta bring in martial law. You know what I mean? What's that, what, what's that one scripture on that says Moab shall be my wash pot? Right, con. Oh, I'll I don't know that. where it's I'll at. Uh, it's in Psalms. And we gotta bang on Moab a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. We keep forgetting about Moab. You know what I mean? Because Moab, wherever Esau is at in his wickedness, Moab is right there by him. You know what I'm saying? Hiding his little face, man. Yeah, I Moab. Was, Moab. I was doing a lift the other day and um, you know, I was I was in a um down by A1A. You know, this is kind of my kind of like my first time ever seeing um um Moab within the, within the white people, man. They they they, they live in they live in large they live in too. Good, they live bro. In good, man. They live in excellent They they just low key with it. What is it? One hundred eighty nine. Saw one hundred eighty nine. Come on, let me see. Uh, same thing with the Arabs too. You know they, they you know they they um got their corner stores in the hood. They live. You know, they they great. um they phone stores in the hood. You know then they, they, they drive their Mercedes SUV. You know, and they go live out west too. They live like an hour away, 45 to an hour, uh, 45 to an hour away. Man, they live great, bro. They live beyond great. Like, okay, a lot of their homes they may be cookie cutter, but when you when you walk inside their homes, it's like it's different. It's marble floors, like real marble floors, not the fake shit that we be having in our house. You know what I'm saying? They have the real marble floors. They be having high ceilings. When you walk into their home, you can hear your voice echo. You'd be like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's different. They got, they live a totally different lifestyle. But they'll work all the way in the hood. You know what I'm saying? They'll come all the way in the hood. That's why I ain't going to lie. You know, now that, now that we're in this truth, I'm happy, man, because there was an Elamite who got killed at one of the stores in my neighborhood. At that time, I didn't know he was an Elamite. Uh, Elamite. But now, hey, fuck it. Good for him. You know what I'm saying? Good for him. Uh, Jake went in there and blasted his whole head in, man. Good. That's good. He's going to be a, a, a slave in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? The Most High put that judgment on him early, and then he's going to come back for some more judgment. You can't escape the hands of the Most High. Okay? Your ju his judgment is not done. Okay? The Most High got him still. 
Okay, this is uh, so, so like it. This is Psalms 108, verse 9. It says, Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Over Philistia will I triumph. Okay? Kana. Kana. Moab is going to be that wash pot, man. And you're just going to be easy work. And I'm not going to even lie. When Moab, the Lord willing, I'm, I'm an elect. The Lord willing, I'm with your house shot. Man, I'm going to switch up my style when I go to Moab. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to do karate shit with them too. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the master of that shit too. I'm going to master it, all right? I'm going to switch. I'm going to fight their style. You know what I mean? You want to you wanna pretend that you were the uh, you were the masters of martial arts? I'm going to show you who the master of real martial arts is. Okay? Because the, the true inventors of martial arts, Kung Fu, or so-called Jake, or, or, or Jake's, excuse me. Okay? Jake's that migrated over there in the, in the, in the deep parts of Asia. Okay? Those were Jake's who created that. That's why when you see them now, they look frail. You know, they try to pretend like they bought that shit. They ain't bought that shit, man. You look at them, you're like, man, get out of here. Now, see, I don't care what kind of kick you throw, man. We gonna kick your ass, man. You get out of here with that bullshit, man. You weigh, you weigh 50 pounds, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You know, and I'm gonna say that to the very end. I don't believe you. If you say you these people, you portray yourself to be the greatest people in the world, and I'm talking about Esau as well, you, 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 you portray to be the greatest people throughout all time. I don't believe you. Do it again. Do it again. You say you was Mozart. You said you were Shakespeare. Do it again. We haven't seen that. Okay, you say you were the gladiators. We haven't seen that. Y'all can't even fight. You can't even fight. These Edomites, you know, there's some big ass Edomites, but still, man, what does that be afraid about them? Okay, they only got size, but we have spirit. That's all okay? they gonna try to do is wrestle you anyway. God, that's it. Are they just gonna get their ass whooped? Because they don't have the spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The spirit will overwhelm. It's like when you play football. It's like, of course you'll be scared at the line. But once the, once, the, once the quarterback hikes the ball and the ball touches your hand, you don't see nothing. You just go. That's the spirit because you have faith. We have that faith. Faith is a gift. And the other nations don't have that. That's how David was able to destroy, to defeat Goliath because he had, he had faith. That's why these other nations, they so at all at everything that we do, man. Because when we put our heart and soul to any, something, we... we we, we, we do it on a much higher and greater level. We're as, as gods amongst the other nations. That's why, they, that's why they, they, have, they have certain arenas to put us in, okay? They have certain weapons and systems to put our soldiers in, oh, because we have natural soldiers amongst us, okay? They give us the streets, they give us drugs, they give us guns. Those are the natural soldiers, okay? And for the other ones who are tall and athletic, they give them sports, okay? Because they gotta do something with that energy. Esau gotta put they got they gotta put them to use. Because if they don't put them to use, they're gonna be teaching the others to do the same thing. And they don't want that. Yeah, I think so. Go ahead, huh? This is Psalms chapter 144, verse 1. It says, Bless says, Blessed be the Lord Yahweh, my strength, Come. with which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Come. You know, so that, that's why I will, that's why we we um we're, we're the top dogs. When it comes to everything, man, Come. because we have the strength of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Come. You know, he, he teaches our hands to fight and our, and our fingers to war, man. You know, so if, 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 if the Lord Almighty, if he's teaching us, of course we're going to have, um, we're going to have the top notch of, of all the nations. Because it says in Genesis 32 and 28, that we are the prince of the power, man. Come. You know, so we belong to the power. You know, the Lord chose us. So, of, of course, we're going to be top dogs of, of everything above all these nations. And that's how you can tell it's true because when we were children, you know what I'm saying, we always were pretending. If we had like a broomstick, we'll take off the end of the broom and we'll have a broomstick, we'll be like, shh, shh. Yeah. it's in our spirit. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know half the stuff we were doing, but we know we did it in, with perfection. You know what I'm saying? We were doing stuff as children and we couldn't explain to you how we did it. It was just, we just did it. You know what I'm saying? When we were in our youth and we were children, we would jump high run fast and when we become young men we were super strong you know what i'm saying we had faith when we was children we were doing stuff that was unbelievable but now we understand okay the most high we believe that the most high teaches our hand and our fingers to war okay i'm pretty sure i'm pretty everybody when they was young they, they used to um wrestle you know like wwe Con, like, trying Con. to mimic wwe you know Con. that's just 
stuff that we like to do. You know, doing gym. back, doing back flips, yep. wrestling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pretending we know karate, but it looked good though. You know what I'm saying it was yeah. in our spirit. Yeah. It was our spirit to be warriors, man. Because uh, uh, pretty much all of the men of, 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 of Israel are warriors. They're soldiers because the Most High used us when we were leaving Egypt. The Most High used us as war as, as, as soldiers. Okay, he didn't. He didn't. He just said, "What was it? Uh, what was the age group? Uh, was it uh, twenty and up? Twenty and up? All the men twenty and up? I think you had to be the uh, what? I think if you were the only child, you couldn't go or something like that. The only child in your family. There were stipulations. You know what I'm saying there were rules of who can go and who can't go. But yeah, man, the Most High used random people who just left Egypt, who didn't know anything really about war at that time." But he put it in our spirit to teach us war. When he said, man, go over there, cross the river, go over there and go get them, we did it. We didn't know how we were, at that, at that point, you know, every all, all the things that we have now were being created. You know what I'm saying? All the warfare that was being created. Okay? That's all. Okay. Cool. This is Jeremiah 51, and I'm gonna start at verse uh, 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. Verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee I will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy the kingdom. And, I, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And it goes on down. Yes, it said Jacob is the former of all things, man. No way. We are we, we saw her in the earth, man. You know? And Esau, you know, Esau like to think, you know, you know, they like to water this Bible down and be like, you know, it's just, you know, like, you know, it's when, when, when you say somebody, you know, when you tell a um, you know, a man or a female, you know, I'm into this Bible, you know, they think you saw. You know, but they don't know that, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, they was warriors. You know, they was men of dollar. Right. And this is right. Exodus chapter 15 verse 3 It yeah. says the Lord Yahweh is a man of war The Lord Yahweh is his name man So, so the Lord he, he's a man of war man So of course his, his chosen people his nation Of course they're going to be warriors The men the men are, are going to be warriors And the and the women they're going to be princesses man Come on. All right. Hold on there, there, there was a scripture right here Hold on let me bring it out Let me bring it out Let me bring it out This is a uh, 2 Corinthians 26 verse 15 It says And he made in Jerusalem Engines invented by Cunning men To be on the towers And upon the bulwarks Right? To shoot arrows And great stones With all And his name spread far abroad For he was marvelously Helped till He was strong So we're the inventors of Of uh, machine weapons. Okay, we're the inventors of that. Machine arrows. Basically, we are the inventors of the original inventors of the automatic weapon. Okay? Jacob is the former of all things. Okay? Check that out. We think Esau was the inventor of all that stuff. No, he wasn't. Jacob was. The Most High gave us the mindset. The Most High gave us the knowledge to do these things. You know, Esau, you know, he ain't really create nothing. You know, uh -huh. he... he he done, um, he done took, he done took everything. You know, they like to say, the, um, Esau, you know, Esau, you know, he created even rock and roll. You know, that, that started with the so-called, um, black man. You know, Chuck Berry. Con, con. You know, so Esau, you know, you, you ain't, you, you haven't, um, created anything. You know, you, you, you stole everything, everything. You know, even the cell phone. Con. You know, even the, um, the Ford. Four people? Yeah. Yeah, come. Yeah. Come. Esau, he, he, he the creator of, of being wicked, man. You know, he, he was the first person, he was the first person to, um, to do wickedness, man. He, he, he deceived Eve, you know, and, and yeah, because um, uh, uh, Esau is the reincarnated, uh, is, is Cain and reincarnation. Yeah. Huh. He was the, uh, you know, killing, killing his brother, man. You no, know, so Esau, the only thing is that he's the former of, he's the former of, of wickedness. Man. The first Come sellout. Come on, the first yep. sellout. The first one to sell his soul. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Because what was that mark at that time? That mark wasn't some mark 
that he had on his forehead that everybody, I mean, because uh, I forgot, back in the day, the brothers used to, you know, poke fun of that, that statement where people would be like, oh, he had a mark upon his forehead or something like that. He had some kind of mark that, bro, if he had a mark, if the most I put a mark on him or something like that, he could easily cover it up with a hat, some kind of scarf or something like that. Nah, that wasn't the mark that 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 uh, Cain had. Mark had, uh, Cain had the mark of leprosy, okay? That anybody see him, because when they first see him, they're gonna be like, damn, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like everybody in the whole entire world is of one color. They're all brown. All of a sudden you see this leprous thing. You know what I'm saying? You're like, what is it, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the freak is that, man? Yeah. That was that mark, you know what I'm saying? Mark of leprosy. Yeah, the mark of leprosy. Con, that's heavy because scripture said that they would have sought to kill Cain. You know, because they're like, yo, what the hell? What well, is this thing for real? Con, like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> even, even uh, Moses told uh, the Most High about Miriam. He said, uh, what he said, he said, uh, let her not be as one that is dead. You know what I'm saying? It's dead, man. Because what they say, what happened when you die? You turn pale. Okay, your body turns pale when you die. That's the so called white man. Being red, that's he's a curse, red. Man. The His, sun hates you. The sun hates the earth. Hates Esau. <laughs> Esau okay. going to slavery. Con, so white man. Con, and white woman. Con. Oh, she loves it. Don't even worry about it. They're excited yeah. about it. She they like could, it too. Yeah, she like it. <laughs> she all right. You know what I'm saying? Good. You got it. All right. Go ahead, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, these women don't 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 believe the the the, the, the lies these Edomite bitches be saying. They they gonna love every minute of it, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Even when we were in captivity, they still was trying to get us. They still trying to get us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Esau, these days, man, Esau, man, he knows his time is over with. And he got one last hurrah, okay? And he's going to do that. Death is going to have its last uh, go. You know what I'm saying? The Most High said, man, the Jacob's, Jacob's, Jacob's trouble is going to be like, unlike any other time, okay, ever in history. So we understand that the time that's coming, man, it's, it, you know, we need Yahweh to get through it. Because, man, it's going to be death everywhere. You know? And um, I made a video and, it, and I, I was speaking about the fact that how uh, even our own family and friends are going to be our enemies. You know, for some people, it may be hard to see, but it's not hard for us to see us in this truth because we see how much our so-called loved ones disagree with us, you know, because we walk in with your house shot. But when, they're, when, they're, when, but when their lives become in danger, you're going to see how quick they're going to be to give you up. When, they're, when, they're, when their life when, when their life, uh, their way of life is being uh, challenged, they're gonna quickly give you up. I mean, because our people are gonna be mainly about please, they're, they're gonna wanna save face, okay? They're in the world, they, they care about what the world thinks of them. So when you're on TV, your face is on TV and you're being brought low and you're being accused of doing whatever Esau is gonna try to accuse us of, uh, accuse us of doing, okay? Our parents, our friends and our family, they gonna, they gonna look at you crazy. They're gonna want you to get away from them. Because they're not gonna wanna suffer the same thing that you're gonna suffer. That's why Yahweh Shah said, man, we're gonna travel from city to city, man. We're gonna be pilgrims upon the earth, man, because the people that say that they love us, man, they don't love us, man. Okay? Enemies are gonna be all around us. Yeah, yeah, you guys are going into slavery, man. So go away, man. I know, it's, I, I know it's hard to believe, but we went into slavery, and that was hard. To, that was hard for us to believe. So, you guys are going into slavery. You guys have to be paid back for your 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 iniquities and your sins, like we had to pay for Lucky ours. Lucky for you, yes. I did the hard work to take us all out of slavery. Yeah, what'd you do, man? Wrote a book about financial literacy. Yeah, financial literacy, but that's that's your kingdom, though. Your kingdom's gonna fall. So, what? what how is that gonna help? No, us? How how it helps you is. Easy access, which nobody realizes how easy this access is. But your kingdom is going to fall. The Most High is going to bring down your kingdom. Oh, well, You're getting ready to go to war. All the resources are going to go towards the war. They already are. Yeah. So you already know this is this economic system.